This episode is brought to you by The Skeptical Buddha, The Tao of Science. My book, which is a thoughtful discourse on Eastern philosophy and how it helped birth ideas required for science and skepticism and the way it fell behind in the face of new evidence. This book discusses the long history of both philosophies as well as the tenets and variations within the varying sects along with psychology and our own natural biases. It discusses how to counter our natural biases using science and the underlying concepts of meditation and mindfulness, a more complex understanding of how science operates than most of the public understands, and why it is the best tool we have to discover truth and reality, as well as philosophical ideas we might embrace as technology progresses. The material is packaged in a way that the average person can understand with rich illustrations to draw the reader in and feel at peace. So now that we understand what a pod is and how it's organized, let's do a pretend walkthrough of a person interested in joining a pod. First, we will join, create a name, put up a picture, pick a gender identity and possibly an ethnicity. We will, of course, not put down your sexuality or what you prefer. Certain questions in the quizzes will be mandatory, and if you think gays are the spawns of Satan, you won't be matched with them, allowing people who are of a different sexuality or gender to not have to be around these people, but to give people who aren't more exposure to people who are different from them. In fact, unless your group is specifically centered around an ethnicity or gender, which it's possible won't even be allowed, gender identity and ethnicity will be mixed as much as possible to provide more interactions with people of different backgrounds. The algorithm will pick whether a trait is balanced, as mixed as possible, or segregated. Age. If you're over 18, this will be balanced. Gender. Balanced. Location. Segregated as much as possible for ease of travel. Education. Balanced. Ethnicity. Balanced. Political leanings. Only essential for political groups, but might be helpful to not mix extremes depending on communication styles and how they answer quizzes. Religion. Only essential for religious groups, but might be helpful to not mix extremes depending on communication styles and how they answer quizzes. Child free. Child future. Child now. Income range, balance between middle and lower, and middle to upper for now. Communication style, reserved, shy, quiet, loves a heated argument, open, no filter, intense, calm, and quiet. Respectful disagreement to get both people to the truth, able to understand others' misunderstandings, eager to learn others' point of view in a respectful manner, or I just expect people should know things about communicating in manners. Where to get your news, more balance depending on communication styles and quiz answers. Activities and interests, pick as many many as possible. This will help you find pods that best match what you're looking for. It will also help pair you with the best group ritual movement you are into. Cause is important to you, pick as many as possible. If there isn't one, pod creators can make one. Pod members cannot because there are no pods with these interests yet. Job type, mix of white, blue, pink, and academic colors depending on communication styles. Now let's get to running an actual pod meeting. Sometimes this can be the most complex. Once again, church has this hammered down. They vary, but they hold something of the same formula that works. Church, singing, Sunday school, singing, communion, collection plate, sharing prayers, sermon, singing, sometimes other activities like a potluck. For a pod meeting, depending on which needs you set up to provide, it could go something like this. 10 minutes of communal movement and ritual. 15 minutes of class or videos. 10 minutes of more communal movement and ritual. 15 minutes to announce needs and offers. You can also post these that can, if not met by the pod, can be seen further and further away by other pods offering mutual aid. This can sometimes be the benefits of asking for prayers. It will help people see a need, and if they can do something, they often will. Five minutes to collect for charity. Dues will be all collected online if needed. One hour main event. Main event may also have these during breaks. 15 minutes of class or video. 15 minutes to hold a pod organizing meeting. This will help people learn how to organize themselves, especially if the pod splits. And 10 more minutes of communal movement and ritual. This makes up a 2.5 hour meeting. Events, on the other hand, may be more single-focused, though maybe a ritual or two involved. Pods can meet in person or virtually, though they will be restricted to a geographic range. The long-distance communication platforms we call social media have this pinned down already. The site would also have a lot of resources, YouTube videos and others, helping generate an event, schedule, and organizing your meetings or events. 
And that's it. That is what an actual sustainable social media site would look like. The three pod limit is great, I think, because all of your activities, religious or political needs should be met, and if one pod doesn't provide for all your needs, the other one should. This is, of course, all hypothetical at this point. If other people don't have the ability to create it, I may have to take a coding boot camp as my next big project next year, now that I have my book published as I have an intermediate understanding of languages like C++, like the back of my hand, but know nothing about stacks, systems, APIs, and making anything actually useful with what I know. There are free boot camps I will probably try out and see if I can't start this myself. If I can get good enough at it to fork another platform, or figure out how to collaborate or create a plugin for the upcoming platform Bonfire, I might be able to make it work. I'm already working on getting semi-proficient at HTML, CSS, and JavaScript so I can at least better read and understand the code on the current platforms. Let me know what you think. What flaws do you think I don't address? What other ideas do you think should be addressed? If you decide to make this and it's not open source or I don't get a say or cut, I'll use this video's evidence to sue you unless you have all this perfectly mapped out with the date clearly showing you came up with it at the same time or before I did. If it's open source, good luck with it, and I'm looking forward to trying it out. Let me be a beta tester. While St. Andrewism hasn't fully made me an anarch, he has nudged me further left and pointed flaws in our current system that seriously need filling, and without some sort of tool or mechanism like this to teach organizing and create community, anarchism is going to continue to be just a joke marginalized ideology, used as a reason to hate liberals and not vote, but only have very vague ideas of what you want and no way to replace the state by creating alternative layers of social safety nets that require community and organization. If these needs get met and this platform actually took off, I would be much more inclined to think of anarchism as a viable option for change, assuming that saying this isn't going to ensure sabotage or false charges against its designers to prevent anarchism before it starts, like every other time it was forcefully crushed. First by liberals, the second time by communists, and the third time by a one-two punch of communists and the fascists. These only got as big and successful as they did because of organizing and community, something that has been commodified and broken by capitalism and we're all too unskilled to do unless there is some major disaster and then our inner tribe members will come out and self-organize. It's something we need to cultivate in times of plenty as well as times of need or we'll continue to feel empty and alone making us just want to buy more stuff and make the rich richer and the planet sicker. So as always, thank you all for watching this as a video or listening to this as a podcast, which I'm sure was completely uncontroversial to anyone, especially to the YouTube monetization team. So if you found this useful, please donate to my Patreon. Just a reminder that I'm Anubis2814 on YouTube, and I have almost 700 videos on my channel that I've made over the past 11 years on religion, science, psychology, and politics. Please go check them out, and if your site has the option, like, rate, review, and comment. A special thanks goes out to Kendall Copperberg, Mylon Mia, Ogrel, Elias Garcia Guevara, and Joe Taylor for their $10 or more Wapawet level donations. I'm always humbled by the fact that they find my work worth funding and worth driving me forward. Thank you all. Please consider donating to my work if you can, and thank you all for listening.